Hello Christian family and welcome to yet another edition of our series of videos on how to build a relationship of intimacy with Christ. My name is Eric Kabongo and today we're going to be looking at a brand new topic of trust and intimacy with God. So trust and intimacy with God, trust and intimacy with God. Trust. If there is someone who wants to hear this message of trust and intimacy with God, it's me, myself and I. Recently, I went through a crisis in my life. For those who know, I am studying and I am going to be completing my master's in psychology very soon. Since 2017, I always knew that God wanted me to do psychology. But then, as time went by, I realized that I got so caught up in all kinds of suggestions on what people were trying to tell me about what I'm good at to a point where I even forgot that at some point I received direction from God to do psychology. What was interesting was that after I followed all these advice that people kept giving me on what they thought I could do better, I found myself exactly at the same place eventually i realized that the only career that would be suitable for me was psychology then i applied i got called for selection and i went to speak to some of my mentors to get some advice on what are the tips i need to keep in mind when i go for my selection then came this one who sent me an email and she said you cannot be a biased person and expect to be an honest professional and I understood that it was because of my Christian views. This created so much doubt, so much conflict on how I could be able to integrate both my Christian beliefs and psychology as part of my career. I became so disillusioned, I became so doubtful, I became so confused to a point where I nearly wanted to do something else other than psychology thanks god i am surrounded by people who are wise enough and who understand god's word who were able to point out to me how the devil was trying to discourage me so that he can kill steal and destroy the purpose that god had for my life this experience taught me that it is very important to trust God despite all the opposition and things that come our way when we know that we have received a promise from Him. For me, trust is nothing more but our ability to completely surrender. It is our ability to give away some or all our power to want to control things to someone or something and there is a relationship between faith hope and trust first to trust someone you need to believe in the person you are trusting second to trust someone you need to have some reassurance that the person or the thing you are trusting will produce the results that you desire and this positive attitude is what we call hope in the context of intimacy trusting God means putting his will over our own it is surrendering our power to want to make decisions and allowing God to lead us Christ is a perfect example of someone who trusted God he did nothing by himself but allowed God's perfect will to be done even in the face of crucifixion. After all, God always knows what is best for us. And I believe that trusting has been overrated nowadays. My experience has been that it's one of the most difficult things to do. 
It is easy to say that we surrender to God than it is to actually practice surrendering and proving that we actually surrender. Many people will tell you that they trust God, but they also find it very difficult to prove their trust to God. This is because since the fall, man became inclined to wanting to control his life to a point where it takes a lot to convince him to let go and allow God to take over his life. Again, it takes prayer, practice, patience, and not being hard on ourselves to be able to learn how to trust God. What is interesting is that God doesn't force us to trust him. He always gives us a choice. It is all up to us to choose the kind of life we want to live. One way we are always tormented by the fears of life or one way we can completely surrender and allow him to guide us. Mind you, the devil also knows that our power to defeat him lies in our ability to completely surrender to God. That's why he will bring us all kinds of doubts and fears and obstacles so that he can keep us captive of his deceptions and his lies. Last year, a friend of mine borrowed me a book, The Christian Atheist by Craig Groeschel. This book beautifully illustrated the life of a person who identifies as a follower of Christ, yet lives in a way that doesn't really reflect that they trust God. So if you have a chance to get a copy of that book, you will really profit from the advice that are given in that book. Lastly, our experience plays a huge role on our level of trust in God. The more chances we've taken in putting our faith in God and have witnessed blessings from Him, the easier it becomes. Again, it takes faith, hope, and courage. So, unless you are willing to take a bet on God, you will never start building a relationship of trust with Him. That's it for me for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channels if you haven't subscribed. Like the video and share if you really enjoyed this. Until next time, God bless you and have fun. God bless you and have fun.